Target, Jason. Uh, and I just reckon that they're kicking fuel, kicking by the Collingwood side. and certainly turned the ball over as cost them. Boundary throw in. Very close to where we sit on the seventh floor here. Nicks, well done. Very well done. Great tackle. Terrific tackle there by Batharis. Little kick around the corner from good Maxfield. Didn't panic, didn't rush. Kelly and Burns off ball in the fall. Yep. Kelly's kick. Well, this could be interesting. Look at Monkey racing back to try and get there. We're very close to quarter time. Plugger goes. He goes. He yes! Goes. Well, you feel like there's so much to say. Bruce, you said that Kelly had loved to kick it to him. He has done that. The security are running from everywhere. Now, he played on last time from here. So I was about to say, what would happen if he played on the siren went? So he cannot improve the angle. So, for 90 years, the Collingwood Footy Club have held the record. And for 62 years, it stood at 12.99. Will he write his name in the record book forever? Come on, please. With this kick, it's going to go! It's He's done it! And aren't we privileged to be a little part of it? A remarkable player ensures the fact for however long we play the game, he will be remembered forever. Who knows who the greatest of them all is? But we can tell you now that nobody who's played the great game has kicked as many as this man. He deserves to stand on the highest peak. It is the most fantastic feeling to witness this. And I'll just say this, Bruce. They talk about having extra security up here. The good thing is that the crowd is being particularly well behaved. Yep. All they are is joining in the celebrations. Mark Doran, can you hear me? Yes, Bruce, I can. I'm right in the middle of this huddle. <laughs> and this is unbelievable. I had no idea what I'd be feeling here, but I can tell you this is the most amazing thing you've ever done. You can... The Collingwood players, Mark, are in the centre, surrounded by security. They've got no hope security under these numbers. No. I mean, we're just, we're just thankful that it appears to be a very sensible crowd enjoying in the celebrations. And it probably happened at a good time. The fact that it's the quarter time break, we're not going to have as long a stage, uh, a stoppage in the game. Jason, you said the, uh, the crowd's well behaved. We've got mums and daughters and sons holding hands, going towards the huddle. It's a great sight. Fantastic. It is. What a plugger. He deserves it. We all know. He's been the most magnificent player for such a long time. This is his moment in the sun, and he's had so many of them. And I'm sitting next to the one man who also threatened it. The other man who got so close. But fate's a funny thing. You don't know the twists and turns in life. But I think we've always known that at some stage this fellow was going to hold it on his own. He was always a little younger. He always had a little bit more left. And he's there now. I hope that's made you feel <laughs> It is totally impossible not to get caught up in the excitement of this as we just showed that kick in. A little bit of a floater, it just went right to left at the beginning and then came back left to right. Uh, a trademark goal from a pretty tight angle. There is an enormous crowd who are only just starting to disperse as we speak. you just got to take your hat off to Big Plugger. The great one, he's finally done it. Here he goes. He's finally it. done it. Kelly, it was and Kelly. You, and how much excitement for Paul Kelly, the satisfaction of kicking it to his great mate. And Plugger, knowing the spotlight was on him, just made sure that the siren would sound so we could all hold our breath a little longer. It is one of those days, I mean, you can be cliched all day today, but it's one of those days where you just are so grateful that you're here and you're going to remember it forever. Everyone. We've never had another day like it. We didn't have television when Gordon Coventry kicked it. That's right. I broke the record. Everyone gets a chance to share in a piece of football history. Australian sporting history, isn't it? It's one of the big ones, one of the great records in Australian sport. And in our game, there's not a more celebrated record. We have triple Brownlow medalists, and they've all, they're all great. 1,300. 
Can you imagine it? 1,300 goals. You can. I can imagine. I understand how big a job it is. That is just an incredible effort. But somewhere in the midst of that mass of people is the Sydney Swans football team. And you just can't see them. Can't see them. No. Look at the yellow jacket there, Jase. That's where Tony Lockett is. That's where Plugger is. Yeah. He's the, players, the, the players were quick to get there to form a bit of a protective shield around him. And the quickest way to get rid of the crowd is to take Plugger off the ground, which is happening now. Mark, are you down there? Yes, I am, Bruce. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. People have come from everywhere. I was lucky enough to be within uh, Paul Kelly of Tony Lockett, if you like. And he was surrounding him. And the emotion surrounding Plugger from the players, you have to see to believe. I don't know what the pictures are like from where you were, Bruce. But I can tell you from in here, it is amazing. There's, if anybody ever says to you again, there's no passion about AFL in Sydney, tell them to have a look at this time. <laughs>